Um, so today we're going to talk about difficulty swallowing, which is also known as dysphagia. So dysphagia is any issues that people have with eating, drinking, saliva management or swallowing. Um, and how you know that someone has dysphagia is they'll be coughing on food or drink, gagging or worst case choking. Um, when it's untreated, dysphagia can have quite severe consequences. So people can get pneumonia, they can have significant weight loss and malnutrition, and in some cases they can have choking, um, which at its worst can cause death. So what to look out for when you think someone might have difficulty with their swallowing is you'd want to ask them, is food or drink going the wrong way? How long does it take them to have a meal? So if it's taking over 30 minutes to get through a normal lunch or dinner meal, that's a sign that someone is having trouble. And you want to see if they've had lots of recent chest infections that, can't, that don't have another cause, or if they've got unplanned weight loss. If any of your clients are experiencing any of these things, then they would benefit from a referral to speech pathology. So speech pathologists will come and assess someone's eating and drinking. Um, they will look at the types of food and drink that they're having and sometimes modify those textures of the food to make it easier and safer to swallow. Speech pathologists can also recommend rehabilitation exercises and safe swallowing techniques to help people. And in some cases, they may also refer and to have an x-ray of swallowing so that it can, the cause of someone's swallowing difficulties can be further 